Hey everybody, guess what? I have a friend who's in the Elder Scrolls Online beta and he had a extra awesome bonus code that he decided to share with me this weekend. So we are going to play some Elder Scrolls Online beta. Assuming it'll let me log in. Uh, I've been having issues. Here we go. Yes, we got it. Okay. Uh, I played a little bit of this game. Um, oh, I'll, I'll talk after the cinematic intro. It is the year 582 in Tamriel's Second Age. You are an unknown prisoner taken with others in chains to an underground ritual site. Last in line, you witness the sacrifice of the others by a high elf necromancer. You know your turn is next. As you lie on the stone altar, you look up to see the knife coming down. There is a flash. And then you wake up, stripped of your soul, in the horrific plain of oblivion called Cold Harbor, the home of the Daedric Prince, Molag Bal. Yes! Alright, so I did play a little bit of this, uh, just to get the feel. Um, not gonna spend too much time, because this is the beta, and I'm not entirely 100% sure that I will be playing this. Um, Gonna stick with a Templar. It's my kind of classic class as the cleric returns. When I played World of Warcraft, I played as a Pally a lot. Uh, so now, <clears throat> this is probably the closest one. It's a traveling knight who uses light, uh, light magic in order to heal and do damage and give buffs. So we'll just stick with that for now. Um, race, I am not entirely sure. I started as Nord. Uh, if you pay extra money, you can get the Imperial, which I obviously have not. Uh, Khajiit, I'm not always a fan of. Let's see, we're, we're gonna try and stick with the, um, kind of the, the Cleric or the... Oh, 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 no! Oh, no, let's try and log in again. We can do it. Uh, they are load testing the servers this weekend, which is why they gave away all these free codes. Oh, let me try that again. Um, so we may see a few issues, but they're not indicative of the game overall, but just that the, uh, just the fact that it's still in beta, you know, we're gonna see some bugs. So let's, uh, log in, please? Please? Might take a little bit. Um, might, let's give, let's give this one a shot, but I might have to come back, uh, when it's working a little bit better. We shall see. Can requested... Uh, so anyway, the, t the amount that I did play, I played through the beginning um, storyline, so I'll, we'll probably play through that real quick as the first episode here and kind of do a, a quick intro, uh, as well as set up the character, and then after that hopefully I'll do a little more in-depth um, play, play time. That's about it. Uh, so far it's been very fun, and it's very much in line with classic Elder Scrolls. Um, the commands are very, very similar to Skyrim. Uh, e and Tab and Q and Z and all that fun stuff. Uh, the graphics are definitely not as good as Skyrim, uh, but that makes sense because it is M an MMO. Uh, they are going to need to render things a little bit more quickly uh, to ensure that everyone uh, experiences as little lag as possible. And I'm just going to keep talking while the beta is loading. Um, please. <laughs> Alright, let, uh, let me get this set up and I'll, I'll come back to you. All right, looks like we got some better connectivity now. Uh, so we got myself set up as a Breton, Breton, and class is Templar, sticking with Templar, Templar. Uh, and then the, the uh, what do you call it, character customization, uh, I'm pretty impressed with overall. Um, there's a lot of variety and a lot to choose from in the classic uh, Elder Scrolls style. Skyrim certainly had um, you could spend your first hour playing the game just selecting and, and choosing and uh, perfecting your individual. So this guy looks pretty... he's pretty good. So we'll, we'll stick with that. Um, torso size, chest size, let's give him a puff his chest up. Big, big guy. Itty bitty guts, itty bitty waist, big buff arms. And he's, he's got to have big hands, you know what they say about uh, cartoons with big hands. Uh, hip size, let's decrease that. Posterior dimension is my favorite, uh, gentle usage of the phrasing. <laughs> Posterior dimensions. 
Uh, we'll go medium small. Leg size, gotta be large. Foot size, also important, as important as the hand size. Uh, the face, uh, I'm pretty happy with. He's kind of a gnarly looking guy. He's definitely seen some some battle. Uh, his hairstyle's, eh, you know, it's okay. Let's let's change it around actually. Um, these Bretons, man, they're they're funny looking. That that's too that's way too normal, way too normal. Oh, we could do a bald head. Oh, the cleric. <laughs> the uh, yeah. Uh, decision made. <laughs> That's where we're gonna go with. All right, classic cleric returns. It's sad that you can only put the the first character as a capital. I wonder if you can put a space. Ah, there you go. But it, oh yeah, see it. Uh, it de capitalizes and turns it to lowercase if you put it all in one word. But that's how I like it. So that's what we're gonna do. Creates, please. All right, hope this works. All right, so let's get to let's get to it. Playing through the very beginning. Oh, fuddy duddy. <laughs> right, let's try and log in real quick. Uh, we might get lucky and it'll load quick for us. Oh, come on. I'm using a different password on this than I normally do. My fingers haven't quite learned it yet. Oh, you know what? All right. Well, let me, uh, let me get back into it, and uh, I'll see you in just a second. Alright, so here we are. Uh, he's he's naked. Um, but I guess we'll just have to go with what we got. Uh, uh, that, that Those Speedo shorts are just... They're... No. <laughs> it's wrong. It's just wrong. Nice nice skin folds around the knees, though, I gotta, I gotta say. Alright, we're loading. We're making... Progress. We are heading to the Wailing Prison. Tamriel is gone. You are going someplace else, someplace far from the world you know, someplace wrong. So wrong. Lots of death and ugly dismemberment in these places. Hopefully it'll load for us. Ah, yes, excellent. All right, started. Soul Shriven in Cold Harbor. Search the cell. Um, so the controls overall, you know, generic, basic, standard, WASD, uh, E to interact with things. Let's see if we can find anything to, to pick up. So that's one big difference I noticed right away was that when you're in here, normally, or, in, oh, well, well, we'll go, okay, well, we'll be interrupted by him, that's fine. We have an option. Yeah, I'll come talk to him in a second. So normally, like in Skyrim, you'd be able to walk up to a bag of bones here, and you know you'd have the option to search it for stuff, and you'd usually find a few gold coins. Uh, you know, you could you'd interact with a lot more uh, within the world normally, um, and that is the number one difference I think that I noticed. But other than that, pretty much the same. Uh, it makes sense as far as. Um, uh, as far as an MMO goes, just to not have a whole ton that you can inter interact with right off the bat. Uh, first of all, you don't need to. Second of all, it, it just takes up game resources, so it's not really required. But let's get on with the story. Here in this, this cell that apparently you can jump out of probably to nowhere. This is, this is like the underworld anyway, so we're fine. So, Lino, you've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. Uh, what, what's happening? Who are you? Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. Well, what, what do you want from me? You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titanborn. Lyris Titanborn? Who's who's that? I don't I don't understand. Uh, oh, I don't get an option. I guess I have to go find out. You there. Oh, hello. We are escaping. Let me open your door. Thank That's you. That's it. Quickly, you must escape before the guards return. All right. There's our cell. We are done. Shift to sprint, Quick. which I've noticed. I, d I don't know what he just said. Uh, shift to sprint is okay. It's not as noticeable. Then again, we are level one, so... 
Arm yourself. Arm yourself. Uh, so the the sprint isn't expected to be too fast, I assume. Maybe maybe you can level it up in, uh, in this version, this uh, setup. But uh, anyway, let's move along. We yep, here we are. We're choosing weapons. Last time around, I chose. Uh, last time I chose the two-handed mace. This time I'm going to go with the restoration staff. Um, yep. Here we go. Take it. And here we are at the inventory screen. Pretty standard right-click, however, I would expect would uh, equip it, but it doesn't. However, if you mouse over and hit E, it'll equip it then. And Alt is to clo close windows, which is nice. Uh, I do like it. How's our staff? Oh. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, alt is to close windows, which I, uh, is really handy. Uh, it's very accessible on my thumb. Enemy approaches. Right. Strike it down. Uh -huh. am, am I doing damage? I guess so. All right. Do not slow the vestige. With the passing of time, any indecision becomes decision. Wise words, friend. Wise words. Um, yep. The UI overall, I'm pretty pleased with. Uh, it, it definitely when maintains the feel. Get on it. How do I... It says to do both mouse buttons at once, but... I don't know, I haven't had... I guess... Alright. Launcher. Level 2 achieved. Alright. Let's keep going. Ah, here we are. Lyris Titanborn. Alright, let's talk about the UI real quick. So the UI overall, very balanced. Um, I like it. Uh, you know, very very high-tech, fancy, schmancy, uh, not overly... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, it's not too shiny, you know what I mean? It's very simple, very basic easy to understand icons instead of words in most places very well done in my opinion because uh, you can learn an icon much better than words um, but it's good very well balanced good job UI creator all right let's talk to Lyrist Titanborn you've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards and I see you've armed yourself good I hope you've still got some fight left in you you're going to need it who are you prisoner the name's oh. Lyris. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Lyris Titanborn? I was told to find you. What? Who told you to find me? A strange figure appeared in my cell, an old man in rags. The prophet. He spoke to you? What did he say? He said our fates are intertwined. Ha. That sounds like the prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. I can still hear his voice in my head. What does he want me help to help you do? Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Blind, huh? All right, I guess I'll help you. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. I have so many questions. I'm sure you do, and I'll answer them as best I can. Alright, so we, since we got the next quest, and, you know, you can really play this if you want once it comes out, uh, we're going to skip these two informational conversations, and we'll, we'll just head to the Ashen Mines. Right? I think I can do that. Here we are, rounding the corner, all this, all this ore that I want to mine, but can't. Uh, I did find out already that once you're in the overworld... The Ashen um, Mines are dangerous. Oh. They aren't as heavily patrolled as the other routes out of the prison. Uh, once you're in the overworld, you can mine without a, having a pickaxe in your inventory. Is as far as I know, I'm pretty sure I don't have one. Trust in her. Trust in her, got it. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Thanks. Tunnels of Eyes. And it's nice, also, that they did kind of an upgrade from the... The Skyrim UI where they now show if a crate is empty or filled. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to do my thing here. I'll take your one gold. Um, but yeah, they show uh, if you need to even bother looking at something. Uh, so it saves a whole lot of time. 
overall. But let's see if I can figure out where I'm supposed to go. Uh, you can let me in. Thank you. Yeah, empty. What else? I really do enjoy these graphics, even in even in the starting part here. Uh, really impressed with with the effort that they put in. Um, it's not over the top, of course, but it, as as far as an MMO goes and the and the rendering that needs to take place. Oh, look at that! Don't even really have to aim. Nice. Okay, hold down left click. Um, does the thing until it's done. Good. Good to note. Courage, vestige. Oh. Confidence is a beast that grows two heads. <laughs> each ah. What have we got here? Anything? It's obviously a mistake on my part, but I'm trying to play it off. Which, obviously, I have not done because I just mentioned it. Alright, let's head to the top. Quit screwing around around here. Let's get some sprint on. It's like, I just want to explore because I feel like there's stuff. But, we'll just, we'll just get a move on. Look at that rainbow. Rainbow staff. I do have to admit, after playing, uh, oh gosh, what was it? There was, oh, uh oh, okay, we're okay. Uh, after playing an MMO, oh, oh, was the new, the new Final Fantasy one? Yes, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, the auto loot on that is really handy, um, and I wish they would do it here and in more MMOs. But you know, to each their own. It's a game mechanic that has its benefits and drawbacks. Um, this, I think, since they're sticking with the, the Skyrim style, uh, it makes sense that you have an, um, I'm blocking! I'm blocking! It makes sense to have to pick up individual items because, uh, let's go to inventory. So normally you'd have a, a maximum amount of weight that you can carry, but here you have a maximum inventory space. Uh, I haven't hit the maximum yet, so I'm not sure how it uh, acts once you get there. Do not lose um, but, uh, block that, jerk face. You know, we'll find out sometime. But, uh, I don't think... Oh, these are all empty. All right. I don't think, uh... I don't think it'll act too differently. I mean, you'll probably just hit your maximum and then have to throw stuff out. But, uh... Yeah. All right. Talk to Lyris. Come. The sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. What are these sentinels? Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. How can we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. Well, of course not. Let's go! I have to admit, this staff is pretty sweet. Um, let's get just a couple of items. You know what? Let's... Uh, yeah, just a few. Just a few. Yeah. Ooh. Damage of nine. Lightning, though. Might be fun. Uh, but yeah, in this... Uh, beginning area, there's a bunch of really creepy looking dudes. They look like, oh, who is it? Um, like the guy from Hellraiser, but without the, uh, the needles in his head. But you can pick up some stuff. That's a loaf of bread that I can't get. Control to sneak. Look at that. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I thought there was more stuff to be had. There's no opening in that tent. Okay! I did, there's uh, some recipes around here for food uh, that I wanted to get. You can't pick up books, which is kind of sad. Hello? Ah. Eat it. Flame Atronach. Silly, silly man. Uh, weapons. Let's, let's check out this lightning staff. Cast off a maple restoration staff. Mm. Meh. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. We'll have to check it out on a flame atronach. What do we have? There's there's some recipes around here that I do want to get. Not super important. Uh, but let's let's try it out, huh? Shall we? What's what's this guy? Why is it familiar? Oh, flame atronach dead. Let's go kill this guy. Oh, I like the lightning animation. It's 
That's pretty cool. Destruction staff increased to two. Excellent. Growing in my skills already. Up we go. It's the range. Oh, good range. Wow. Dead already. Keep getting that gold. Alright, up here we've got Mr. Eyeball himself. Is this... Oh, Feral Shriven. Get away! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Familiar. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Doctor Who Season 5? Yeah, Season 5, Episode 1. The giant eyeball guy in that ring of ice. Oh, look. Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. What the? <laughs> that guy just fell over. Ah, uh, let's go to the Prophet's cell. This way! A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! Yeah, this, uh, this has a nice ambiance here. Definitely underworld feel. D d what? What? Oh, he's, he's a guy. <laughs> Should take care. Pay more attention. But it's it's got that kind of torture, ritualistic goodness. Pro tip, uh, when these guys die, they uh, put a, a flame circle around them, so don't, <laughs> don't be nearby when they die. Oh, nice. Thank you. Nothing here. Here we go. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Man. All right. Where do we go? Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. How can a madman possibly help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Yeah, let's find this Cadwell. 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 Godpiece. Cadwell. 